Hello everybody, I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about folktales. Most specifically, we are going to be talking about tall tales or legends. Okay, now tall tales are usually stories that are based on somebody that actually existed, a true person, but they're very much exaggerated, meaning that they really, really stretch the truth and they make things impossible. Some elements in the story are impossible. So what do all cu cultures have in common? Every culture in the world has stories that were passed down from generation to generation. They can explain how or why things happen, like why the sky is blue or why there's stars in the sky. They might give advice or wisdom, and they are all meant to entertain us. Okay, now we are most specifically going to be talking about some American folk tales this week. Folk tales are stories told by common people, meaning ordinary people. They have a purpose to entertain us. Sometimes they're taught, they teach cultural values and behaviors, ways that people should act. They're usually served serve to inspire the ordinary person and some forms are legends fairy tales fables and yarns now like i said we're going to be focusing on legends mostly or tall tales characteristics of folk tales they're stories told by the folk or the common people passed along from generation to generation long ago they were passed down orally meaning from word of mouth they were told they were not written. Unlike myths, folk tales are not associ associated with religious rituals or beliefs. They often serve as entertainment, but they teach social, social rituals or behaviors, again, the way that people should act. Folk heroes tend to be common people with no magical powers, but again, like I said, we're going to be talking about tall tales, which really stretch the truth. Um, sometimes these stories can include magical creatures, not the tall tales we're talking about today. And they help people believe that the ordinary folk people can become great or inspirational. So we're going to focus on some legends or some tall tales, stories that arise from historical figures. We have actually had some experience reading a story about Robin Hood. He was a real person that existed, but a lot of the stories that are told about him are exaggerated. Here's Paul Bunyan and his blue ox and his axe, and we'll talk about him a little bit later in the week too. Just to recap some fairy tales we did talk about in the past. Okay, Cinderella is a fairy tale. Um, the tortoise and the hare is an example of a fable that we see down here. And these stories are meant to teach a moral or a lesson. And we also read about a myth, Medusa, and we read about um, Arachnid, I think was her name. Anisi, I think, was one that we read about, okay. And folk tales also we've read, okay. But we're going to focus on tall tales, like I said. So today you're going to be viewing a video about Johnny Appleseed and then reading the beginning of a story about Johnny Appleseed. And what I want you to keep in mind is that a lot of the things that are told in the story, although he was a true person in history, a lot of the details are exaggerated. And that's what tall tales and legends do. Okay, so that is the introduction for today. And we are going to be reading about Johnny Appleseed and Paul Bunyan throughout the week. And they're really cool American folktale stories. All right, so that is it. I hope you enjoy the video and the book. Have a great day.